Welcome to the channel and stay tuned. We're going to make peanut butter and jelly wings. Hello everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is John. Today we're going to fire up the big green egg and we are going to make some peanut butter and jelly chicken wings. We're going to use some tart cherry jelly. We're going to add a little bit of maraschino juice to it too to give it a little more cherry flavor. Sriracha, a little apple cider vinegar, and of course peanut butter. Let me show you how we get these broken down. First thing we're going to do is get a little bit of the sauce made. We're going to marinate this. You can marinate it up to overnight, but we're going to marinate it probably for four or five hours. Let's get that sauce made. We're going to use a little over a half a cup of peanut butter. Can't eyeball it, but I'm trying to get it a little bit closer. We're going to use the whole jar of cherry preserves. It's about 13 ounces in this case. I'm going to add in a little bit of the Luxardo cherry juice just for a little bit more cherry flavor. Probably about a tablespoon. Might make an old fashioned too a little bit later since we got the cherries out. I'm going to do about a tablespoon and a half of sriracha. a little bit of spice, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And get that mixed up. Never made this before, but I'm seeing some recipes popping up here and there. And uh, figured we'd give it a try. All right, you may not have one of these, but uh, it's a little bit chunkier than I wanted, so we're gonna see if we can cherry preserves we got was a little bit chunky so I wanted to get it mixed up a little bit better. A few chunks in there is fine. Wow, that might be pretty good. A little bit more sriracha. add one more thing. Give it a little bit of a umami, a little bit of an Asian flavor. We're going to add a couple of, of a teaspoon of, probably a teaspoon of fish sauce. It's not going to make it taste fishy, it's just going to make it taste good. Yep. A little extra sriracha. A little bit spicy, but not too bad. And that fish sauce just gives it a nice kind of umami flavor. All right. Keep that to the side. All right, so for our chicken, we got them. They were all the drumettes, the flappers, and the tips. Sometimes we'll just cut them in half and cook them with the tips, but this time we're gonna take the tips off. And it's a little bit less expensive to butcher these yourself. Super easy to do. Just find that little separation right there. Super easy. Just run your knife down so you feel it. Now don't throw these away. You can, next time you make stock, just put these in the freezer, vacuum seal them if you can, and uh, add them to your stock for next time. I said don't throw those away if you do make sock um, put those in the freezer and use them next time 
All right, so some of these we're gonna not marinate per my wife's request, just, just in case she doesn't like the, the peanut butter and jelly wings. So we're gonna get some out. Do six and six. Just gonna do a little farm dust on there, which is basically just salt, pepper, garlic. This will just dry brine them in the next few hours. Let that seasoning sink in. And for the peanut butter jelly ones. Obviously, I'm not going to eat all that sauce, so I'm just going to put enough in there to get these nice and coated. And then we'll reserve the rest. You want to brush on a little bit when they come off or just before they come off. All right, this does seem a little bit weird to me, but we're going to give it a try. sauce. Let me get them all covered. All right, we're going to put that in the fridge and we'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, now we're about ready to put the wings on. So I'm going to show you what the setup is. We're going to be doing the big green egg. We're going to be using the big green egg Canadian maple premium lump charcoal and I'm gonna do indirect cooking so we got the plate setter down we got a little drip pan because peanut butter and jelly may make a mess out of that stone so we're gonna do the peanut butter and jelly ones down here and then the regular wing ones um, with the farm dust we're gonna do on top because I don't want the peanut butter to be dripping down on the, on the ones that we're not doing the peanut butter and jelly on so we'll get this fired up and we'll see how it comes out
Our wings are cooling down, so we're going to make a little old-fashioned. We're going to do Elijah Craig rye. I like a rye old-fashioned. Some people you prefer bourbon, but I like the spicier notes of rye. Make sure you use the good Luxardo cherries, the good bitters. I'm going to use the regular bitters and the orange bitters. So the way I like to make it is with a couple of tablespoons or a couple of whatever these are, teaspoons of cherry juice. So we're going to do a little bit of regular bitters, orange bitters. You're gonna make one, you might as well make a two ounce one. Ounce and a half. Half an ounce. A little stir. Nice. I'm gonna stir it probably. 20 seconds or so. And we're gonna use a big clear ice cube. fashion. Perfect. All right, here's our peanut butter and jelly wings. Let's see how they are. Added a little bit extra sauce on top, a little bit of peanuts. Surprisingly, that's really good. We'll see if uh, the wife likes it or not, because she made me do some regular ones. Mm. Those are good too. That's the winner for today. Mm. Let me know if you've ever tried peanut butter and jelly wings. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.